living in Sarasota or planning on moving to Sarasota, but you're a bit overwhelmed by all the choices, neighborhoods, surrounding towns, which city is best, where can I find the house on the water, or are you looking for a golf course community, or perhaps it's just which city is most affordable? There's just so many questions when you're moving to a new area, and today I'm breaking down Sarasota's suburbs, so stick around. Lisa McBride with Kelly Williams Realty Select in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch. I post new videos about living, working, thriving, just enjoying Sarasota and the surrounding communities. If you enjoy my videos, I'd really love it if you would subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified when I post new videos, and, and feel free to leave comments and reach out to me and let me know how I can be of help. Let's dive right into Sarasota and the surrounding cities. Sarasota is located in Sarasota County, and it is a part of a two-county metropolitan area that comprise well over a million people. It is Sarasota and Manatee counties. And although one million people sound like a lot, it is spread out, and all of our cities have a much more small town feel, very friendly, very community oriented. So if you're not looking for a big city like Tampa or Orlando, this area is right for you. The most recognized, most known city close to Sarasota is Bradenton. And Bradenton is located just north of Sarasota in Manatee County. Sarasota and Bradenton seamlessly connect and you don't really leave one to enter the other. Bradenton is built up along the Manatee River and is known as the friendly city. Bradenton is home of one of the oldest working fishing villages in all of Florida, Cortez Historic Fishing Village and it's also home of Tropicana's production facility. The Pittsburgh Pirates are also there for spring training every February, so there's a lot going on. With the population being over 63,000, it is the 48th largest city in Florida, and it is growing quickly. Now the average sale price of homes in Bradenton is 329,000. It has a mix of residents and it exudes a real feeling of local, local neighborhoods, like you know your neighbor, and that they've been there for a while. It's not a, a newer community. There is a mix of those lifelong residents as well as snowbirds that have been coming to the area for years. You are still able to find some affordable condos in Bradenton with prices starting below 150 for some of the smaller units. Single family homes will begin at 250,000 but quickly rise into the three to four hundreds as the demand for housing is increasing along this river city. If you're looking for a home located close to the water, be it the Manatee River or the Sarasota Bayfront, prices will quickly rise and be much more into the six, seven, eight hundred thousand price point. And if you're a boater, there are neighborhoods that are built with you in mind such as Tidewater Preserve in Pomasola. Braden feels very local. It has expanded and grown throughout the years and now you're going to find a lot of new developments on the east side of Interstate 75. Anna Marie Island is the barrier island of Bradenton and can be accessed via Highway 64 or 664. Anna Marie Island is a hip, relaxed, chill, beautiful vacation spot. And well, actually, whether you're vacationing or you're local, it's a great place to enjoy the water, the beaches, and the sunset. It kind of feels like a, a Caribbean getaway, as it does not have large multi-story condos as some of the other barrier islands do. It's just a nice, chill lifestyle, and it's no wonder that our visitors and our year-round residents really enjoy it. It features Holmes Beach to the north where you'll overlook Tampa Bay and going south, one of the favorites is Coquino Beach. Don't expect to find homes less than a million dollars though as it is a very desired location. Now just to the east of Sarasota is Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch, like Bradenton, is located in Manatee County. Lakewood Ranch is the newest city. It is actually less than 25 years old. This urban development began about 1999, and it was originally an extension of Bradenton. 
Although Lakewood Ranch is now its own city, there's still a few neighborhoods that actually have a Bradenton address. It is one of the fastest growing multi-generational developments in all of the United States. Currently with over 30 separate communities and villages, you'll always find new home construction going on. The population is 43,000 and quickly growing. The average price of a single family home in Lakewood Ranch is $513,000. Now you can find townhomes and condos that might start in the mid 200 to 250, 260, 270 price point and quickly go up from there. One thing to know about Lakewood Ranch is that there are CDD fees in most of the communities. And a CDD is a community development district, what is basically an additional tax bill. It is implemented to help with the development of the infrastructure and amenities in Lakewood Ranch, such as, you know, like water, roads, fire departments, that's all built into it as a separate tax, which is the CDD. There are a number of golf course communities, such as Country Club East, Rosedale, and Sarasota National. You can find stately homes throughout any of these neighborhoods. Now, I have heard downtown Lakewood Ranch described as being on a movie set with pristine streets, quaint little boutiques, all kinds of dining and bars for entertainment. It is a cute little city. Now, downtown is not large, but on the first Friday of every month, they feature music on Main Street which is a great way to get out, meet more people, take in the community, take in the city, and just enjoy a beautiful night out. Lakewood Ranch is a few more minutes to the beaches than Bradenton or some of our other cities. However, it is close to University Town Center for shopping and also Benderson Park, which is great for exercising and entertainment. Lakewood Ranch really feels suburban-like. So it has great schools, it has fun shopping, it has lots of new homes, lots of golf courses, and amenities that are built into these communities. Almost all of these communities will have large pools, they'll have tennis courts, uh, bocce ball, pickleball, just a lot of thriving communities. A place where you'll really get to know your neighbors. Lakewood Ranch in Sarasota seem to be a little bit more hustle and bustle. However, if you just go a little bit south, you're gonna find a little bit more quiet community, Venice. Now Venice is located 18 miles south of Sarasota. This charming little town is known for its class, its relaxed feeling, its beautiful neighborhoods, and its beaches. Population of Venice is just over 25,000 and just like everywhere around Florida in Sarasota and Gulf Coast, it is growing rapidly. Now the average age of the resident in Venice is a little bit higher than in Lakewood Ranch or Bradenton, but it has plenty to do to keep its locals busy. I tell you, downtown Venice is one of the most charming downtowns in this area. It is filled with boutiques, coffee houses, restaurants, and picnic areas. And it's just a short drive to Venice Beach and the Venice Jetty. There's a real ease and friendliness that you feel immediately when you're in Venice. The average price of single family homes in Venice is 350,000. And Venice is home to a new development called Welland Park, which is a master plan community that is growing fast. Welland Park is also very convenient to Minnesota Key Beach and it's an ideal beach for shark tooth hunting. You'll find new villas in this area starting a little over 300,000 and single family homes in the 400,000 and going up from there. As Welland Park develops, you're going to see um, more shopping. You're gonna find um, just more community activities. You're gonna find dining. It's just a great, great new development. And we do seem to find a lot of snowbirds that love to call Venice home. Venice does have its own community theater, a number of golf courses, tennis courts, and pickleball courts. So there really is something for everyone. When traveling south of Sarasota and heading towards Venice, you'll be on Highway 41 and you may go through Osprey and Nokomis. This less dense area of Sarasota is home to many retirees who enjoy the natural parks such as Oscar Shearer Park and Spanish Point. This location is just minutes to Nokomis Beach and Casey Key Beach. It is ideal for those 
looking to stay close to Sarasota and some of the amenities, but still want a little bit quieter lifestyle. The prices for homes in Nokomis and Osprey are very, very similar to those throughout Sarasota. Wrapping up suburbs, I cannot forget about Longboat Key. Now, just a little side note, I'm not gonna be talking about Siesta Key as it is part of Sarasota. Longboat Key is a barrier island that is located in both Sarasota and Manatee counties. It is remote, it is posh, it is filled with locals and snowbirds. The year-round population of Longboat Key is about 6,000 people, but it quickly swells to over 30,000 during the winter months. It is lined with condos and multi-million dollar homes. With limited access, residents really enjoy the quiet and relaxed and yet sophisticated lifestyle. There's plenty to do to keep busy though, such as biking, kayaking, boating, and some of the prettiest golf courses in all the area. The average price of a home in Longboat Key is two million, and the average price of a condo is 860,000. So there you have it. Each of these suburbs has its own feel, its own community, its own activities, and its own pros and cons. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about these neighborhoods and which ones might be great for you, let me know, I'm here to help. There are a few other cities surrounding us, but you'll need to subscribe and keep watching for videos as I will bring those cities to you in future videos. To summarize it for a quiet lifestyle, Venice, Nokomis, and Osprey may be really what you're looking for. If new communities and lots of amenities and great shopping, then Lakewood Ranch may be your best fit. However, if beach luxury is what you're looking for, Longboat Key, and if it's just a beach town that you want to hang out at, Anna Marie Island is ideal. And if you're looking for a local feel into a community, then Bradenton is for you. You have any question on any of these suburbs, don't forget to let me know. I truly appreciate you watching. And as always, until next time, take care.